Today I'm looking at doing watercolour flowers. They're a great fun to do and not that hard. I've chosen two colours that are close together in a wheel, warm red and warm yellow. Now I'm tracing a fantastical shape on my paper, very light. Um, you can use any shape you like, but I use something of a hibiscus, so I'm using that to trace around the flower. Do different shapes and different sizes and just spread them across your paper, it doesn't really matter. Um, make sure that you keep the paper light. Now, with my brush, I'm putting just plain water in the, in the petals because this is an ex, ex lesson in what happens when you put paint into wet paper. Um, and it's a really good one to try out. So just plain water, plenty of it. Now, mixing up a thick puddle of yellow pigment, um, quite juicy and quite a lot of it you need. Same again with the red. Um, make it nice and juicy and plenty of it. So now put the yellow into the middle of the flower, just the middle, and let the pigment flow across the paper into the wet. See how it's spreading out? It's lovely. Now I'm coming along with the red. I just do the outside. I let the pigments flow together naturally, and then you get that lovely soft natural edge. Only watercolours can do this, and it's magnificent. Just touch it up around the edges a bit, and then... You can do the another couple round the other way with the uh, red middle and do the yellow on the outside. Doesn't really matter as long as the colours are fairly close together on the wheel. You should get the results you want. And just remember that the paper needs to be wet before you do this. Retouching the colour a bit now, just bring a bit more red into the red areas because they do fade when they dry, which is the nature of watercolour. So just touching up the yellow there again and putting some more yellow into the red, just because I can, why not? So that gives it a little yellow centre there. And continuing on now, wet the petals, which are now dry. Okay, so I've wet the petal again, and then flooded in colour. So the process is to wet the petal just on the and with plenty of water, and then just put in the small bit of pigment around the edges so it'll get that lovely uh, tinge at the edge. So continue on with the other petals, water first, then some pigment on the outside and let it flow in, let it do its thing. And really enjoy the way it joins up together, I think it's lovely. And you can't get this with many other mediums, it's quite special to watercolours. Now I'm doing the yellow. Now I'm mixing a bit of uh, ultramarine blue into the mixture and putting just some very little dobs in the middle, just a little quite wet. Notice how when it goes into the wet pigment how it's spreading. When it's in the dry it stays as dob, dotty dots, but in the wet it spreads out, which is also nice. It um, works well. Then using the Inktense pencil I'm putting the stamens in. Depending on what kind of flower you're deciding to do, you can decide where, how and many and where the stamens are. I'm just doing a few here just to show you how to do it. I put the pencil into the pigment and then draw it out which works quite well and very nice. And you get a nice fine line with these pencils. Always keep touching it up a little bit more. Now some of the green gold. Now make this very light, uh, not too strong because we're going to put some darker stuff in in a minute. Make sure the petals are now dry before you start this and then paint in the background. Isn't that a gorgeous colour? I love that colour. Um, and using this lovely brush you can just stroke it on around the petals. If you go over the edges it doesn't really matter, it'll just um, soften them off a bit, it's okay. As long as they would dry before you start, that's the main thing. Hair dryers are quite often good. Now I've mixed a stronger green and I'm going to stroke in some leaves. Now I'm weaving the leaves in between the flowers and behind them. Um, practice doing the leaf stroke with your brush. I might do a little video on that later because it's lovely. You can put in as many as you like or as few as you like, it doesn't matter. Just remember that the flowers, uh, they, the leaves weave themselves through the flowers. They're behind and on top and all sorts of things. But you can really make an accent on the flowers by doing this. Um, and so the paper behind it, I should have said, is dry. Uh, you, don't want, you don't want soft edges. Now back with the pencil, I'm drawing in the stalks. It just gives us a feeling of growth. So I'm just almost joining the dots here with the flowers. And we're nearly done and I hope you enjoyed the process. Do try it with different kinds of flowers, but do keep the shape simple until you've got a handle on how to 
do this technique. It's really quite unique. Enjoy your flowers.